In this video I will show you how to make your own Minecraft texture pack. You might have a clear idea in mind of how you want Minecraft to look like for you, and with this you can achieve it. To do this you will need to close Minecraft and go over to your browser. Now after you have done this, select one of the search boxes and in there write Minecraft default texture pack. Then press the enter button and open up the website at the top. Then after you get into this website, scroll down and here you should have the download options. I'll download the 1.20 option because this is the latest one, but this might be different for you in the future. After you download a certain version, make sure to note it down because you will need it further down the video. And also you can download some of the older versions if you want to as well. Now after the download is finished, you can minimize or close the browser. I'll minimize it. Then open up the file explorer and go into downloads. Once you get right here, find the file that we just downloaded and drag it over to your desktop. Now, after we did that, we can double left click and open it up. And after it opens up, we can press the extract all button. Then we can press the extract button after we have chosen the exact location we want for this folder to be extracted at. Now we can open up the extracted folder. If you're curious how to change the name, the icon and the description of the texture pack, we will cover that at the end of the video. Now let's change some textures. To do that, go into assets, then go into Minecraft, and right here, go into textures at the bottom. And here you can choose anything that you want to edit. So let's start with a block, for example. And you can search for a certain block by pressing this search bar right here. Let's search for dirt, press the enter button, and here is dirt. To edit this, you will need a photo editor application on your uh, computer, but most of us already have one by default with Windows, which is Paint. Then just select this, right click and go over to open with and select which application you want to use. I'll use Paint 3D and you will be redirected into Paint 3D. You will need to zoom in. Right here you can adjust the zoom. Then at the top you will need to select brushes and then navigate over to the right where you can change settings for your brush, like thickness and opacity and also the color. And here you can edit the texture. First off, let's change the color. Let's make it red. And now I can paint it red. I got a little bit carried away with coloring, but now let's save it. Go over to the top, press menu, then press save. You can repeat this method for everything that you want to edit in your texture pack. And after we are done, we can press the X button and close it. First off, let's rename the texture pack. To do that, right click the folder and press rename and name it anything that you want. I'll name it Guide Realm. And now I'll show you how to change the texture pack icon. Open up the folder, then you can delete this photo right here. Right click Delete. And now we can insert a photo into the folder that we want to use as an icon. That photo must be a yeah, .png file format. Then right click it, rename and name it Pack. Also you can edit the description by right clicking this file right here and press Open With. Then select Notepad, if it doesn't appear at the top, press More Apps, scroll down, find Notepad selected, and then just press the OK button. Now in Description right here, just select this text, Backspace, and add anything that you want. I'll add Guide Realm Pack. And then go to the top left, press Save, and you should be set now. And now the next thing that you can do is launch Minecraft. And then when you get to the Minecraft launcher, just select the latest release and press play. Now after you get inside of Minecraft, press the options button, then go over to resource packs and press open pack folder. Then take your resource pack and drag it into the folder and wait for it to transfer. After that's done, close this folder and it should appear in the game. Here it is. Press this button, then press done. Now let's jump into a world to show you how it looks. And now after we get into the world, we can open up our inventory and search for dirt. Here it is, we can select it. And as you can see, it's different now. I edited it like this with red and yellow. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.